Hail, Holy Mother, who gave birth to the King, who rules heaven and earth forever. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today the Church uh, honors Our Lady of Lourdes, and interestingly, in 1854, Pope Pius IX uh, declared the dogma of the Immaculate Conception of Mary. Less than four years later, Mary appears to Bernadette uh, and says, I am the Immaculate Conception, kind of confirming that dogma. And today, over six million visitors go to Our Lady of Lourdes. And if you've ever seen the song of Bernadette at the beginning of the movie, it says, to those who believe, no explanation is necessary. For those who don't believe, no explanation is possible. And so as we are reminded of our, our Lady's love for us and how she brings us to Jesus, let us begin by acknowledging our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness that we who keep the memorial of the Immaculate Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God called to Adam and asked him, where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, the woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. Then the Lord God then asked the woman, why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, the serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your, heel. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. To the woman, he said, I will intensify the pangs of your childbearing. In pain shall you bring forth children, yet your urge shall be for your husband, and he shall be your master. To the man, he said, because you listened to your wife and ate from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat, cursed be the ground because of you. In toil shall you eat its yield all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles shall bring it forth to you as you eat of the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face shall you get bread to eat until you return to the ground from which you were taken. For you are dirt, and to dirt you shall return. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. For the man and his wife, the Lord God, made leather garments with which he clothed them. Then the Lord God said, 
see the man has become like one of us, knowing what is good and what is evil. Therefore, he must not be allowed to put out his hand to take the fruit from the tree of life also, and thus, and thus eat of it and live forever. The Lord God therefore banished him from the garden of Eden to till the ground from which he had been taken. When he expelled him, he settled him east of the garden of Eden, and he stationed the cherubim and the fire revolving sword to guard the way to the tree of life. The word of the Lord. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Alleluia, Alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. In those days, when there again was a great crowd without anything to eat, Jesus summoned the disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd, because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will collapse on the way, and some of them have come a great distance. His disciples answered him, Where can anyone get enough bread to satisfy them here in this deserted place? Still he asked them, how many loaves do you have? They replied, seven. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then taking the seven loaves, he gave thanks, broke them, and gave them to his disciples to distribute, and they distributed them to the crowd. They also had a few fish. He said the blessing over them and ordered them distributed also. They ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets. There were about 4,000 people. He dismissed the crowd and got into the boat with his disciples and came to the region of Dalmanutha. The Gospel of the Lord. So as I was praying with these readings yesterday, the song kept coming to my head from you too, right? I still haven't found what I'm looking for. And so I apologize if I'm putting it into your mind now because it's been going over and over in my mind. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. We know that uh, Bono is a, is a Christian, and of course we're here on a Saturday morning, and I hope we can say the opposite of that refrain, right? I found what I'm looking for, and more importantly, I found who I've been looking for in Jesus. 
It's the story of every human being is our desire to find God. Whether we realize it or not, every human being, no matter what creed they profess, they're searching for God because that's how we are created. And we hear from the beginning of time in, in this story of the fall in Genesis, you know, how the evil one is always there trying to distract us, separate us from God, offering us something that we think this is what we're looking for, but the evil one knows it's not what, what will fulfill us. In fact, it's what will separate us from God. As we're studying morality and be formed, we're looking at our vocation to beatitude. Our vocation, our call is union with Christ. We come from Christ and we're called to return to him. And in this life, we can get glimpses of heaven the closer we can come to the Lord by following his commandments, by loving him and loving our neighbor, by laying down our lives for others. But the, the, the process of sin is, we see it here. Adam is asked, why did you do it? He blames Eve. Eve, why did you do it? Blames the serpent. We, we, we have this blame game rather than coming to terms and say, I did wrong, I'm sorry, and really I'm seeking for God. We, I once heard a priest say, and I think it's true, he said, we can trace everything, even your worst sin can be traced back to a desire for God. So think about that. Think about your worst sin. Really, the one you're looking for is God. And you could be singing that refrain of, you too, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. The key is turning to Jesus. We hear in the gospel today, and if you're watching The Chosen, they do a great job of covering the feeding of the multitude. You know, Jesus just doesn't satisfy their, their hunger, you know, but he, it's abundant. He feeds them with seven loaves and a few fish, and there's an abundance left over. And he's trying to tell us that if you come to me, if you seek me, if you make me the center of your life, all of your needs will be taken care of. It doesn't mean we won't suffer. It doesn't mean that there's, going to be, there's not going to be struggles in life. There will be. He told us that there would be crosses to bear. But he said, I'll help you carry them. I'm with you until the end of the age. And so if, you're, if you find yourself being tempted, if you find yourself you know, looking for, gosh, what is, the, what is the key to life? Turn to him. Invest time in your spiritual life. You'll never regret that time that you spent here. Grateful for God's mercy in our lives, let us now lift up our prayers to him, that God may guide all of us in the church in following Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord. That the Holy Spirit may inspire all who are in service to governments and people, we pray to the Lord. Lord. That those who do not know Jesus Christ may hear and receive the gospel and enter on the way of salvation, we pray to the Lord. Lord. That the Lord may enkindle in us a never-ending desire for truth, goodness, and beauty, we pray to the Lord. Lord. That all who have died in the light of faith may soon live in the perpetual light of Christ in heaven. Today we remember the deceased members of the McDade family. We pray to the Lord. Lord. And for the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. God of refuge, hear, we pray, the concerns we have raised up to you and answer them according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the memorial of Our Lady of Lourdes. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim Worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father.
And let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <laughs>